to the section 7 of chapter 4, equation of state, I talk about the Mi-Greenizing Debye equation of state. The Mi-Greenizing Debye equation of state is the most frequently used thermal equation of state. It is constructed along the CH path, which explained in the previous section. So, uh, first, volume is decreased from V0 to V3 at a constant temperature, standard temperature of T0. Then, pressure increase from uh, P0 to P2. Then, with keeping the uh, volume, V3, the temperature is increased from T0 to T3. Then, uh, pressure is increased from P2 to P3. The uh, path from uh, temperature T0 to T3, uh, the uh, pressure increase, this pressure increase is expressed using me the equation of state. Namely, the pressure increase is the uh, thermodynamic Grunaisen parameter times the increase in, in thermal energy divided by volume V, equation 4.6.8. And this increase of thermal uh, energy is uh, calculated based on the Debye approximation in which the volume, uh, the uh, isochoric heat capacity is uh, expressed by this equation, equation 3.7.18 prime. The Mi-Grunaisen Debye equation of state has this formula. The pressure is equal to minus dE0 over dV plus gamma d times ED over V. E0 is the internal energy at zero temperature. And ED is the thermal energy at high temperature in the Debye approximation. Gamma d is the Debye Grunaisen parameter, which is defined as minus the uh, derivative of natural logarithm of the by temperature with respect to the natural logarithm of volume equation 4.7.2 then let us derive the me Grunaisen debye equation of state let us start the uh, pressure x expressed using the Helmholtz free energy. Namely, uh, pressure is the volume derivative of the Helmholtz free energy F at constant temperature T. Equation 1.1.23 or equation 4.1.1. P equal, the pressure is equal to minus the partial derivative of Helmholtz free energy with respect to the volume V at constant temperature T. The Helmholtz free energy F is divided into two parts. One is zero temperature part F0 and the lattice vibration part approximated by the Debye model Fd. So F Helmholtz free energy of the body is uh, a near equal the de, uh, zero temperature part F0 and uh, term lattice vibration part, equation 4.7.3. From the definition of Helmholtz free energy, F0 is equal to E0, the internal energy at zero uh, temperature, minus uh, zero temperature T times uh, entropy S. Uh, but uh, uh, temperature T is zero. Entropy S uh, is can be zero when it is equilibrium, but not necessarily zero. But uh, in any way, uh, 
temperature is zero, this term is zero. Therefore, the F0 is equal to E0, the uh, internal energy at zero temperature. So, the M holds free energy F is equal to the internal energy at zero temperature E0 plus uh, M holds free energy uh, due to the lattice vibration in the device approximation. Equation 4.7.3 prime. Then uh, let us substitute uh, the equation 4.7.3 F equal E0 plus FD into uh, pressure is equal to minus partial derivative of Helmholtz free energy with respect to the volume B at constant temperature T. Then E equal minus partial derivative of E0 plus FD with respect to the volume B at constant temperature T, which is equal to minus the derivative of internal energy at zero temperature E0 with respect to volume B. Because the temperature is uh, defined as zero, therefore this is not partial derivative but a uh, uh, normal uh, derivative. Minus partial derivative of Helmholtz free energy in the Debye approximation Fd with respect to uh, volume B at constant temperature T. So uh, the first term is a zero temperature pressure. Uh, this can be obtained by the isothermal compression, compression at low temperature. And Fd over uh, the, the partial derivative of uh, Fd with respect to uh, V at T is uh, thermal pressure at high temperature. So uh, this part, the first term can be obtained by the isothermal compression at low temperature. Therefore, we need to uh, obtain the second term minus partial derivative of uh, Helmholtz free energy with respect to volume at temperature T. So uh, this term can be expressed by minus the derivative of Helmholtz free energy T uh, Fd with respect to uh, Debye temperature T times the Debye temperature T the uh, part, uh, derivative of divide temperature theta d with respect to volume B. Then uh, we modify this uh, formula into this formula. So second part is upper uh, numerator is d, d uh, theta d over theta d. The denominator is uh, d V over volume V. So uh, this is a differential of a natural logarithm of theta d and natural logarithm of theta V. And because of the uh, factor theta d and V, we have uh, theta d and V here to compensate these uh, uh, factors. As a result, we have a uh, 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 this uh, formula so the uh, theta d the divide temperature derivative of Helmholtz free energy Fd times theta d over V times minus d the uh, deriv d ln theta d over d ln V and this is the definition of the divide Grunaisen a parameter gamma d therefore this is gamma d theta d over b times the theta d derivative of uh, fd equation 4.7.5 therefore uh, we need to obtain the uh, differential of 
hem hot free energy Fd with respect to the uh, thereby temperature theta d. In order to obtain the uh, thereby temperature derivative of Helmholtz free energy, we need to express the Helmholtz free energy as a function of thereby temperature theta d. For this purpose, first let me uh, divide the Helmholtz free energy into entropy uh, internal energy part and uh, temperature times entropy part from the definition. And uh, the, because of uh, this uh, formula, the entropy ST is of course uh, the temperature derivative of Helmholtz free energy at constant volume B. Mathematically, the uh, internal energy ED is uh, Fd minus T uh, round Fd round T, just uh, modifying uh, this equation. But with this is equal to the partial derivative of Fd over T with respect to 1 over T at constant volume B. Equation 4.7.7. Why uh, this is uh, held is expressed uh, explained here, explained here. So the uh, partial derivative of Helmholtz free energy F d over t with respect to one over t at constant volume b is equal to the uh, partial derivative of uh, F d Helmholtz free energy over t with respect to T times the partial derivative of temperature T with respect to uh, inverse temperature 1 over T at constant volume B from the chain rule. Then uh, the first factor it can be uh, modified into the partial derivative of uh, Fd with respect to temperature T times 1 over T plus Fd times minus 1 over T squared. So this term is a Fd is first uh, differentiated and uh, T is kept. And here, uh, this one, the second term is uh, Fd is kept and 1 over T is differentiated with respect to temperature. And the denominator of uh, this uh, side is uh, inverse of uh, this factor uh, around 1 over t with respect to t, which is equal to minus 1 over t squared. Then uh, we simplify this one, then uh, this one and this one cancel. And then uh, uh, then Fd remains, and uh, this one uh, because uh, this uh, minus t squared and one over t squared one over t we have minus t factor here and partial derivative of uh, Fd with respect to t remain uh, come here comes here then uh, the from the uh, divide approximation the internal energy can be expressed in this way the uh, integral of thereby heat capacity isochoric heat capacity from zero to temperature t uh, with respect to temperature and the entropy ST should be uh, divide uh, ice core heat capacity over T with, with respect to temperature T from uh, 0 to T and uh, divide uh, heat capacity is expressed in this way so this is a function of theta D over T this part and this one. Therefore, 
uh, this uh, EV can be uh, pro uh, expressed t time uh, some count function of uh, theta d over t because uh, this is integration and uh, this is a function cv is a function theta d therefore uh, this integral can be uh, t times function of theta uh, function of t times function of theta d over t this uh, entropy term is uh, heat capacity divided by t and integrated therefore this is also a function of theta d over t and temperature t is here therefore this is also a function of uh, t times uh, function of uh, theta d over d therefore the Helmholtz free energy in the Debye approximation can be uh, written as theta times the function of theta d over t equation 4.7.8 so we can express the Helmholtz free energy, energy in the Debye approximation fd by a function of t times some function of theta d divided temperature over temperature t so we substitute uh, this formula into the equation 4.7.5 the internal energy is equal to the partial derivative of fd over t with respect to 1 over t at constant volume b then uh, this fd is replaced by uh, temperature t times some function theta of uh, theta d over t and t is cancelled up within the denominator then we have uh, and uh, we put the theta d here then theta d uh, appears here so ed the internal energy in the Debye approximation is theta d the Debye temperature times the uh, differential of the function eta as over theta d over t with respect to theta d over t equation 4.7.9 using this formula we calculate uh, we obtain uh, the formula of differential of Helm Helmholtz free energy Fd with respect to the Debye temperature theta d which is equal to the differential of Helmholtz free energy with respect to theta d over t times the differential of theta d over t with respect to d theta d from the chain rule of a differential then if we have fd is the differential of helmholtz free energy with respect to theta d over t times one over theta and uh, as we have already uh, assumed fd can be expressed using temperature t times the uh, some function of theta d over t and with respect to theta d over t then uh, this become uh, d times eta theta d over t with respect to theta d over t therefore from uh, equation 4.7.9 this is equal to uh, e internal energy over the by temperature theta d equation 4.7.10 then we substitute equation 4.7.5 minus the partial derivative of Helmholtz free energy fd with respect to volume b at constant temperature is equal to the Debye Grunaisen parameter gamma d times 
divide them by the theta d with respect to volume v times the differential of uh, Helmholtz free energy Ft with respect to divide temperature theta d and the uh, differential of Helmholtz free energy Fd with respect to divide temperature theta d is equal to uh, internal energy in the Debye approximation with respect to divide temperature theta d which uh, in, into uh, P equal minus the differential of uh, internal energy at zero temperature E zero with respect to volume V e minus the differential of uh, F Helmholtz free energy Ft with respect to volume V at temperature T. Then uh, we have this formula and uh, first uh, substituting 4.7.5 and this part is replaced by this one then uh, minus the differential of e, e, e0 with respect to v times gamma d theta d over v times e d over theta d and cancelling the divide temperature theta d we have minus differential of e0 over v plus gamma d times E d over V equation 4.7.1 so this is the uh, mean Brunetian Debye equation of state the term uh, minus d E0 over V is usually expressed using third order Birchman equation of state or Binet's equation of state in the mean Brunetian Debye equation of state we have a new parameter, Debye Grunaisen parameter. Please let me uh, prove that the thermodynamic Grunaisen parameter and Debye Grunaisen parameter are equal. So, first let us consider the thermal pressure based on the Mi Grunaisen Debye equation of state. The thermal pressure is the partial derivative of pressure with respect to temperature T at constant volume V, which is uh, nearly, which can be approximated as minus D E0 over DV plus gamma D times E D over V. And the uh, E0 is uh, temperature at zero. Uh, the internal energy at zero temperature, so uh, for a temperature, uh, this is constant. Therefore, uh, we have uh, only the second term, and we approximate gamma d, the Debye Grunaisen parameter is constant, and volume V is also constant with respect to temperature T. As a result, we have gamma d over v times uh, round e d over round t at constant volume v and the temperature derivative of internal energy e d is the uh, isochoric heat capacity so equation 4.7.10 and uh, thermal pressure is of course is equal to the thermal expansivity alpha times the isobaric no the uh, isothermal bulk modulus kt equation 4.1.4.1 therefore we combine equation 4.7.11 and 1.4.1 theta d is equal to v uh, over cv times uh, thermal pressure which is equal to alpha v k t over c v, which is equal to the thermodynamic Grunaisen parameter. So the Debye Grunaisen parameter is identical to the thermodynamic Grunaisen parameter under these assumptions. This diagram shows the thermal pressure uh, delta p theta the P thermal of uh, MGS O3 bridge manite from 300 Kelvin. 
So this uh, violated uh, delta p theta from 300 at uh, 500 Kelvin, uh, 700, 1100, 1100, uh, and up to uh, 1900. So uh, we can see the uh, Thermal pressure decreases with increasing uh, pressure or compression at the constant temperature. Therefore, we need high pressure correction for uh, term glutenizing parameter gamma. So, pressure dependence of glutenizing parameter is usually we express using volume exponent. So, glutenizing parameter at compression is equal to glutenizing parameter without compression times Q power of V over V0. Or equivalently, the Q is uh, not definition, the definition of Q is natural logarithm the differential of natural logarithm ln gamma with respect to ln v volume equation 4.7.12 then uh, we defined the uh, divide glutenizing parameter as the differential of natural logarithm of divide temperature with respect to volume v and the uh, Q is defined as a uh, uh, differential of natural logarithm of a uh, glutenizing parameter gamma with respect to volume V. So from this, uh, uh, these uh, two relations, we can uh, eliminate volume V and ob we can obtain the relation between thermodynamic glutenizing parameter, glutenizing parameter and uh, Q. So let us take a uh, uh, ratio of a uh, glutenizing parameter gamma and uh, divide uh, parameter Q, which is equal to minus the differential of uh, natural logarithm of divide temperature theta d with respect to natural logarithm of uh, volume B over natural log differential of natural log logarithm of uh, glutenizing parameter gamma with respect to natural logarithm of uh, uh, volume B. Then uh, both sides have a uh, uh, differential of uh, natural logarithm B. We have minus differential of na uh, natural logarithm of divide temperature theta d with respect to differential of natural logarithm of gamma. And differential of natural logarithm of gamma is uh, t gamma over gamma, therefore which is equal to minus gamma times uh, derivative of natural logarithm of theta d divide temperature with respect to gamma. So uh, gamma this one, this one cancel each other, then we have natural logarithm of uh, the uh, derivative of natural logarithm of uh, divide temperature theta d with respect to uh, gamma is equal to minus 1, minus 1 over q. Then uh, equation 4.7.13, we integrate the equation 4.7.13, we have uh, natural logarithm of uh, theta divide temperature under compression minus the natural logarithm of divide temperature without compression is equal to minus the divide temperature uh, divide uh, 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 glutenizing parameter uh, gamma at compression minus glutenizing parameter with under no compression over Q. Then which is equal to gamma 0 minus gamma over Q. Therefore, the divide temperature at uh, 
work under compression is equal to divide temperature uh, without compression times exponential function of gamma 0 minus gamma over Q equation 4.7.14 so uh, let us uh, uh, see some example of a uh, uh, degreenizing coefficient of state. So reference material is a MJSR3 bleachonite. Uh, my study and Tangeta 2012 investigate uh, determined the PVT relation of MJSR3 uh, bleachonite uh, from uh, 20 GPA to 60 GPA where I give and compression was 20, uh, 0 0.29 uh, 6 to 0 0.83 then uh, this is a change of the greenizing parameter and uh, uh, by temperature is a D. So greenizing parameter at zero uh, pressure without compression 1.59 from a uh, 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 compression of 0 0.96 to uh, 84 it decreases from 1.4 to uh, 1 1.15 or something like this. Uh, in contrast, uh, according to this uh, relation, and uh, in contrast, the Tebai temperature increases from uh, 1130, 1140 Kelvin to uh, 12, uh, 1290 Kelvin. And again, this is a thermal pressure. This is the integration of that greenizing parameter of uh, volume V times uh, the Debye heat capacity. Integration of uh, this uh, form with respect to temperature from uh, 300 Kelvin to high temperature of 500 Kelvin to 700, 900, blah, 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 to 900 Kelvin. So uh, the Thermal pressure reaches uh, 11 uh, GPA at 1900 Kelvin. So compared to the uh, compression, pressure by compression, thermal, uh, thermal, uh, temperature, uh, pressure is uh, much smaller, maybe factor 5 or something like this in the mantle temperature. So uh, this is the end of a uh, thermal equation of state, degreenizing uh, the equation of state. And this is the end of a uh, chapter 4 equation of state.